The rise of the COVID-19 pandemic has left a nation suffering, not just on the medical front, but also economically. With stay-at-home orders in place, oil industry leaders say the demand for oil has reached an all-time low. Stocks have plummeted and the oversupply of oil is still sitting off the shores. They also say that they're waiting for the economy to reopen and demand to pick back up, but that hasn't happened yet. According to recent unemployment numbers, most Americans have been left unemployed, furloughed, or trying to save their businesses. People losing jobs everywhere, right now and oil especially. Business owners like Chad Hathaway of Hathaway LLC says he's never seen a climate like this and his independent oil company has already had to lay off employees. We've had to do that and it's tragic. It's one of the most difficult things in the world for an employer to have to do is to let's lay somebody off. Kern County tax records show over the last few years, six of the top 10 taxpayers in Kern County are oil related companies and a 2019 report by the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation shows Kern County is one of the state's most oil rich counties. John Liftquist, the Kern County assessor, says the decline of oil is a major concern for the county because the county relies on property tax revenue from the oil industry. Although it will have no effect on the current budget, it may impact next year's fiscal budget, which begins on July 1st. Livquist says the county is preparing for the contingency of budget cuts already. This is worse than the than the 2014, 15, 16 decline. So it, it could be it could be more serious than what we've uh, felt what, what already caused the county to declare us a fiscal emergency. Um, so we've got to prepare for the worst because it, it doesn't look good. In previous years, plunging oil prices had a direct impact on the county's budget. And once again, Liftquist says all the county departments could take a revenue hit, including public safety departments such as the sheriff's department and county fire. He says public schools would likely also be impacted because property taxes are one source of revenue that funds them. If oil remains as low as it is today, um, all the way through the end of the year and into 2021, um, that would definitely affect uh, Kern County's tax rolls and, and Kern County's tax revenue. The director of Kern Citizens for Energy, Tracy Leach, says she believes the county may be in a tough spot if the economy isn't back up and running soon. Billions of dollars in our, to our economy every year just in Kern County, never mind the rest of the state. And some business owners saying the downfall was faster than they had expected. What I didn't foreshadow was the um, acceleration of demand destruction. With Americans remaining under quarantine for weeks, leaving less people driving or flying, and retailers and restaurants having to keep their doors shut, there was literally almost nowhere for residents to go, and sheltering in place sent the oil industry into a downwards tailspin. I mean, we were at this time last year, plus or minus 60, 70 bucks a barrel. We're at 10. In a statement recently released by Chevron, they said, quote, the impact of lower prices is clearly felt across the U.S. energy industry, including here in Kern County, where the industry is a major driver of our community's prosperity. Chevron is taking actions across the company that are expected to preserve cash, support our balance sheet strength, and preserve long-term value, end quote. The industry also fuels more than our cars and planes, and hospitals alone, oil and gas materials produce products such as latex gloves, x-ray machines, and pacemakers. Our technology is also powered by the industry, supplying goods like cell phones and computers, even down to our coffee makers, credit cards, and hair coloring. We are one of the largest consumers of oil and natural gas in the country. We're the fifth largest economy in the world. We use a lot of petroleum products, so it doesn't make any sense to uh, damage, uh, turn off, uh, destroy our oil industry in Kern County while we continue to use the product. County tax records show that the top six oil-related companies generated over $178 million in tax revenue just in the 2019-2020 tax year, which equaled over 13% of the county's property tax revenues. I think this goes on uh, too much longer at Kern County is, is in the coming years when uh, property tax, when those assessed values, they're reassessed, and that property is reassessed at a lower value, it's going to be pretty devastating next year for Kern County as we attempt to fund social services and our public safety, our officers, our firefighters. And business owners like Hathaway are fearful of the long-term economic impacts. I'm terrified that, that my children may not have an opportunity to be a part of this industry because of foolish mistakes that are being made by our leadership. That's my biggest fear.